hello everybody it's back XCOM is back and boy am I pumped for it this uh this one kind of surprised me at it coming out of nowhere and now here we've got XCOM Camera Squad and I <laughs> We all know that I have a very good love-hate relationship with this game. Well, actually a love relationship with the game. I love XCOM. Uh, XCOM 2 is one of the few games I've actually beaten twice, three times. I've done long playthroughs, modded playthroughs of the, through the of this game. And the fact that now they have a second, or a, a kind of a pseudo-sequel, a sequel story-wise, but kind of a different, almost like a SWAT breaching game. I mean, it's just I've I'm super excited. I want to see where the story goes. I want to can't wait for us to meet everybody else in this game. The operators look interesting. The gameplay looks interesting. I'm just happy to be stuck back into this. So we are gonna just jump right into it and start a game. Uh, I'm gonna play it on normal because this is yeah normal is kind of how I first time playing this. I'm I'm okay with XCOM, but I'm fine with that. No Iron Man, no that. Extended adds five levels to the inner community, decreasing the strategic difficulty of the game. We're going to do that. Tutorial, yes. Subtitles, yes. Hatfield, behind encounter. I, I don't want to go story because I want it to be tactically hard. But I do want a little bit more time so we can kind of spend time really exploring all the all the kind of the strategic layer of this game. I think that's all set. We're going to click continue and jump into the game. Two minutes out. Hey, Godmother. Is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and taking it to the bad guys? I wouldn't know. I spent most of the world training resistance networks. Like mine. And for your many long years of service. Watch it. XCOM attaches you to an untested squad and pushes it into the field before it's ready. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. I wish I could have pulled my weight. For which side, exactly? I find that very hurtful. Sure thing, Advent. <clears throat> we are through the checkpoint. I was never actually Advent. But they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. We're here. 3-1-PD gave us the all clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. Whisper, what's your status? And what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. He, uh, he hailed the cap. <laughs> to a hostage situation? Focus. Whisper, any surprises in the next room? A handful of hostiles, unaware of your approach. Chimera squad, take positions. Prep for breach. Okay, breach mode. So... Breaching. This begins every mission settings and a breach point in the enemies. Preview the enemy presence in each breach mode point and modifiers and will be applied to that. Assign the agents and determine if they're in the order they fight. Great. Alright, so we have a main point breach. Successful shots in the enemies will crit. So there isn't anybody with any specific abilities yet. So we're just going to kind of go in three order like this guy with the shield looks like he's the best guy. He should definitely go in first. We're breaching in. Okay. Breach time. We've got breaching targets. We've got an alert. A surprised. And a surprised. Well, we definitely want to take out the alert guy because he's going to have some kind of action. Ooh, that crit. We'll have her take out him. Shotgun. And then Hello. I am Mayor Nightingale. Is that our hostage? Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. It's just a recording. As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah blah blah, history. Focus. Okay, turns and moving. So we have action phases and a turn order, which is much different than XCOM. Now, I have watched a few people play this, 
and oh, those controls are back. Perfect. This will give us a flank on this guy, but not anybody else. Go up here. Okay. I'm gonna move him up to here. Eighty-one percent. Yeah, I gotta love those XCOM percentages. Uh, well, this guy is going next. I don't like the sixty-five though, so I'm gonna try and get the guy we had. Well, no, let's take the sixty-five because the flank guy we can no, we'll take this guy. Let's be real here. Perfect. Oh, and the miss too. Even better. Okay. So now we can kind of gang up because we know he's not going right away. You see this? Huh. Interesting. So long. Had to unpack a breaching charge. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. Don't ever change. Verge, form up. Any hostiles in the next room? Yes. I can feel them. Okay, multiple breach points. We have main. <coughs> we have the main door, which has two. Enemies deal plus one damage during the breach. There is damage likely happening here, and then the side door, which uh, the last unit th through the entrance does plus three damage during the breach. So we're gonna want our tankier units to go through here, and then our not so tanky units to go through here. Now, I'm gonna have them go first in the breach. Breaching! Stay behind me. Okay, so we have alert, surprised, and that guy who is just not. So we're just gonna. Take him. Assault rifle. Take him. Alright, so we have one guy here who is aggressive. Which means he's gonna fire back at us if we don't take him out as part of the breaching phase. So we are gonna... Focus him down. He's in cover. This guy isn't, so we'll take him out. He's hunkers. And this other guy is surprised. Okay, agent abilities. So each agent has a unique ability that they use every turn, gradually gaining more abilities, class, and equipment. More, most agents have a subdue ability, which is a non combat that is low damage, but is guaranteed to hit. And can use or earn additional wards. The cherub uses this. Great. Alright, so we can. So we can kind of come down here. And just start beating people to arrest them. Failed to subdue. Probably taking unnecessary damage at the same time. No, okay. Well then. Let's begin. Subdued the hostile. Now, he doesn't have Subdue, but he has Charged Bash with his shield. Book him. Set up the Breaching Charge. I do like to make an entrance. 
Some breach points can only be accessed with special equipment or abilities. Once an agent has registered the asset, the first shot can be assigned. Okay. Cherub is obviously leading. Then I think Godmother, Verge, and then Terminal. I like his assault rifle and being able to use that. So, breach and clear time. Wait, hold. Hostage confirmed in the next room. We need more than that. Free one PD has a live feed. Patching through. If you surrender, I will advocate leniency. Enough. This exhibit. It is about XCOM's role in our liberation. I see you read the placard. It doesn't say how they went soft and got weak. Now, it's up to us to light the spark. He's holding a detonator. Go, now! How's this for an entrance? Okay, surprise, surprised, alert, alert, alert. Let's go over the easy guys. Protect you. Dropping target. Cherub is down. Terminal, stabilize him. On it. Verge, with me. Protect the mayor. Confirmed. Okay, so this is tutorial. So he's bleeding out. We need to stabilize him. But terminal isn't going for a little while. So. We're gonna move her up here. And we'll use her scattershot ability. I missed him? Alright. Repositioning. Her over here. Oh, this guy's a hardliner. Battle madness. Stupor. Stun the target for one to two actions and then add them to the neural network. Perfect. Alright. She needs to stabilize Cherub. Good. And then she can take a shot at this guy. Perfect. That hardliner is no ammo. Stun. Reload it. So reload. Got that shotgun. All right. Take him out. Knock him down. Hostile is under arrest. Chero, are you still with us? Yeah, uh, I think so. Only thing injured is my pride. And your diaphragm. And a few ribs. None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. I'm, I'm grateful, of course. But these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. I read their threat assessment. A month ago, these insurgents were all talk and no capability. The greatest threat they posed was to bottles of alcohol. Why tell us? Why now? City 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting peace. I'm the public face of this. Tonight, someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know. But right now, you're the only ones I'm certain are fighting for that same peace. Can I count on your support? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We got extra intel because we captured enemies. Great! Or we have a chance to. Pack 
package delivered to 31 PD. She truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's... <laughs> it's bad luck. Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The City Council asks citizens to remain... So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the Reclamation Agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Welcome home, Chimera Squad. The director wants to speak with us. Thanks for getting the mayor killed. Also, you're fired. That's not helpful. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your action at the museum and its aftermath. Director Kelly, I take full responsibility for what happened. Stop. I sent you to City 31 because I believed you were ready. Tonight, you surpassed my expectations. 3-1 PD requested help within three hours of your arrival in the city. You answered immediately. Going in, you were under-equipped and down an agent. You adapted, as we trained you to do. And let's not forget, you rescued the mayor. You delivered her to safety as the city requested. Don't blame yourself for an outcome you couldn't control. Instead, let's focus on what's next. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. Head over there. I'll hold. Okay, city map. This critical information is waiting Welcome for the city. Welcome to City 31. During Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry, self-government, and local agriculture to support the varied populations. Against all odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Until tonight. We don't know that. Not yet. But we can find out. 3-1 PD requested our help sifting through evidence at the Memorial Museum. They lost good officers today. Give them what they need and see what we can learn. Okay. The map will see the status of City 31 and the current targets. We can send our squad to respond to. Khmer Squad can respond to only one target per day which they automatically advances. Understood. So, only one spot. We can go here. So the 31 PD needs help pouring through the aftermath of tonight's attack. The mayor's death is at city on edge. Let's do see what we can help. Should they need to be a situation to advance the date? Yes, it's the only thing I can do. We've done what we could to aid 31 PD. Commissioner Maluf passed the longer thanks for helping the officers bear with the weight of the attack. Your work with 3-1 PD opened a few doors. Here's what we know. A crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. Ooh, okay. We get to choose our first faction to investigate. The progeny. A loose network of human scions, their vision for City 31's future is entire, entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. Grey Phoenix, an organizer of alien scavengers, they've amassed quite amassed the weaponry kind of reclamation mandate to cover. An underground religious movement of hybrids, they preach salvation, but only those who once fought XCOM. Sacred Coil. Yes, that's that's what we're going for, the sacred coil. Sacred coil is what happens when former Advent officers find religion, or create one. They claim to be the true path for City 31's hybrids, as long as that path involves armed sedition. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 31 PD's jurisdiction? True. The Reclamation Agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. 
So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, a dangerous organization is off the streets. Exactly. The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. Okay. Tackling investigations. Every investigation has three stages. Groundwork from the first mission. Learn the faction and their methods. Operation. Hidden missions that can be revealed then complete to knock out the faction's plans and then take down. Stop the final attack to end the threat to City 31. So March 2nd, we started our investigation. We don't know the leadership. We know it's a fanatical uh, group. We have no dark events. Sacred soil is in progress. Or sacred coil is in progress. All right. Check it out. Headquarters sent us an assembly. And with the right patterns, we can build anything. Or we could with the latest version. What you're looking at is the extremely finicky 2038 model. Uh, It'll yeah. take time to stress test our patterns. But once we have them, we're good to go. <laughs> the, the interesting 3D printer assembly is projects to get access to new or better equipment. Each project can unlock new items for XCOM. Supply new weapons, armor upgrades, or a variety of useful things. Agents assigned here will decrease the time it takes to complete the project. Simple enough. Illyrium. Illyrium is one of the three resources the reclamation requires to complete projects in the assembly. What do we have here? So we have androids, breach, grenades, miscellaneous, armor, weapons, and everything. Only one thing to do, android personnel. All right, we selected an assembly project. You can recruit a squad. Critical mission has been completed today. The armory. The armory is where you manage your agent. Loadout, manage weapons, armor, items, agent abilities, unlock new abilities, nerf XP, agent biography, tint armor, etc. The director okay. convinced the city council we're too understaffed to be effective. This means we can bring more agents to City 31. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. We have Blue Blood, who is an agent. Take a dead eye shot, Desperado, standard fire pistol, and then cost an action doesn't. Okay, laser lance shot, ignoring cover bonuses. Binding and pulling, torque, and then Zephyr, close quarters, crippling blow. Yeah, this is all. This, they're, they're a melee character. I like Torque. I like the idea of Torque. And it's a Viper. Torque. Whisper. Are we good? I don't know. Did you get a lobotomy? Can't say that I did. Then no, we aren't good. Well, at least things are back to normal. <laughs> Alright, so we've got loadouts and everything here. I don't think anybody has leveled up. We can tint their armor. Yeah, let's... I like the idea of armor tinting these guys red. Status is unassigned. Neural network gains 10 aim for each enemy in the neural network. The vert stupor can psionically stun the target for one to two actions that adds them to the neural network. Verge can psionically attack an enemy's mind, making them go berserk. Battle madness. Keeps Verge's stuff there. Unless we. I guess if we back out on the movement. Okay, bind, tongue pull, poison immunity, and adaptable. She just has scatter shot. Safeguard and hack door. Shield dash, kinetic shield, and charge. And then obviously his. Now we have one mission investigate the sacred coil. We've got the armory. Our temporary field office has all the basics weapons, comms, and ammunition. Supply is where we request everything else. As long as it's in the squad's budget, it's ours. Okay, we've got 
credits are one of the resources you display. We can get a sweet deal on combat grade androids. I know. Everyone hates them. Alright, we got these ones are a breaching charge and access key. Ceasefire grenade, flashbang, smoke grenade. Friendly units near to our unaffected. Boost defensive on there. Med kits. Good to have. Tracer rounds, trank rounds, and here's everything. Don't know that we need to buy anything yet. That's supply. We have investigations. That is the investigation we're doing. Idle agent. Well, if we're gonna do this, might as well put... Who do I want? I'm gonna put Verge in here. And then I'm gonna add Torque onto the mission. We are not the police. If you see a theft, call it into 31 PD and move on. But there is one notable exception. Hostile forces carrying dangerous contraband may attempt to flee the scene. Don't let them escape. Okay. So next time we're gonna do Operation Angelic Player Prayer. And we're going to investigate the Sika Coil in the Highland Square. It's easy. Looks like it's a window. Door window, keypad, three projected encounters. We'll have Godmother, Cherub, Terminal, and Torque. But that'll be for the next time. Thank you for joining us for the beginning of Chimera Squad. I'm super excited to bring this to you guys. I've been James. You've been you. This is Tig Whoopies F... Tig Whoopies. And Tig Whoopies FC. That's the other thing I do, by the way. Uh, same outro, though. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.